Hi, I'm David Gross, and recently I did an article in Bass Musician Magazine on transitioning from either a four-string or a five-string bass to the six-string bass. I love this instrument. I've been playing six-string bass for years. As a matter of fact, one of my books, Six String Basics, is all about the six-string bass. So I wanted to give you a mini lesson on some of the key points from that column, and let's get started. One of the great things about the six-string bass for me is the fact that it's got a two octave range in one position. So you have your D here and your D there. So let me give you a quick overview of the instrument. B, E, A, D, G, C. That's it. Let's take a typical D major two octave scale. look at scales in terms of thirds. Uh, chords are built on thirds. Uh, bass player's basic function is to articulate chords. And so I look at the scale as stacked thirds, meaning 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 octaves. Here's an exercise using thirds, and we're going to actually end up going up to the F sharp on the C string. So here we go. I encourage you to do it in fourths, fifths, sixths, sevenths, and octaves. And you can do that on your own. And then do it in all keys. Okay. This next exercise takes triads on every step of the major scale. scale and E, but I have a twist on this one which really works great on the six string bass. I call it octave displacements. Uh, I learned this from Pat Martino, the jazz guitarist, and it's a great way to familiarize yourself with different notes on the net. So that E major, or rather E chromatic scale, looks like this. <laughs> That'll certainly get you knowing where your notes are on the net. So let's recap. Key of D, major scale. Major scale up to the third two octaves above. 
triads, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, sevenths, octaves. Get you started. Take care. Thank you.